Hello everyone, my name is Sean Mancini and today I'm going to show you how to install a uh, web-based application called Webmin onto your Linux and Windows machine, uh, sorry, Windows server uh, for remote administration. Uh, this is a good alternative to uh, full-fledged GUI and a good alternative to the terminal. So it provides a web, web page that allows you to perform everyday tasks through a web-based GUI. The benefit of this is that if, for instance, in the Linux environment, I don't have to install GNOME or, or KDE, um, which ties up a lot of system resources, I can use a web page and I don't, I don't have to use a terminal for everything uh, and remember all the commands and make sure they're all right and, and everything. So let's dive in. Um, the software is called Webmin, free of charge and open source. As you can see, there's uh, oh, you, there's a couple different formats. You can download .zip for Windows, .deb for Debian, RPM for Fedora. I'm using Debian base because I'm using Ubuntu. Okay, so I just go over to my server here. I already have the package installed. Oh, uh, sorry, downloaded. Now you can actually either FTP it. Uh, from the site onto your machine by downloading it on your client machine and using an FTP application. If you have FTP installed on your server, you can do a wget and, uh, and put in the link for the download. Okay, so however you do it, we got to get the package onto the computer, uh, so onto the server. Now, once you do that, before you can install it, you'll have to install the Perl. Uh, base libraries. So we're going to do sudo apt-get install Perl. Say yes to allow for the download. Okay, once that is complete, okay. We're going to use uh, we're going to install webmin now. Uh, you can do the following sudo dpkg tick i web web admin the basically the rest of the package name okay hit enter web admin will extract and you will receive errors about um, dependencies being missing to fix this you're going to do sudo apt dash get install tick F and now we'll go ahead and find the missing uh, files say yes and now the c the um, installation finishes okay now web admin is set up now webmin uses HTTPS rather than HTTP so you have an extra added layer of security which is always nice um, so now our installation is complete okay so basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to take your uh, either your host name so let's say server one dot local um, uh, and then colon 10,000 You'll be putting that into a web browser. Okay, so I already have it mine up here. So I'm just going to refresh my page. Okay, you're going to get a SSL error because the certificate is going to be self-signed. So in Firefox, you just say I understand the risks. Click Add Exception. Get certificate. Confirm security exception. Now you're going to be using your your local server um, account. So for instance, mine is Sean, and then I'm going to put in my password. Click login. And there you have it. You have a web-based portal um, that 
allows you to go ahead and make server changes. Uh, as you can see, I can see my CPU usage, my the amount of memory I have dedicated to my server. I can go ahead and make networking changes, uh, system changes. Okay, so uh, I can uh, now make all these changes instead of in the terminal. I can go ahead and make them um, on a web-based application. So, um, the, and uh, this allows for, like I said, faster, uh, faster configuration, uh, and and all that stuff. Okay, so uh, that's how to install Webmin. Uh, very valuable tool. Um, and very simple to install. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them on my uh, in the comment section of the video. And you can also visit my blog, seanmancini.com. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.